From the Atlas Center at the University of Colorado, this is News Team Boulder. Rescue efforts are underway in Marsh Fork, West Virginia after an explosion collapsed a local coal mine. Methane gas may be the cause of the blast that is assumed to have killed over two dozen miners. Four are still missing, but hope for survival is growing slim. We need to do what we can to try to get in there, but I'm just trying to be honest with everybody and say that the situation does look dire. Officials plan to drill large shafts over 1,200 feet deep in order to release the poisonous gases. Rescuers are not allowed to resume their search until after the mine has been ventilated, which could take up to 12 hours. An investigation is underway today after an RTD bus hit and killed a 78-year-old man yesterday in Aurora. Witnesses say that the man was hit by the bus and then thrown into the gutter severely wounded. This has been the second accident in less than a week related to RTD. The city of Boulder wants to lower speed limits again on Highway 36. Just last week, the Colorado Department of Transportation lowered the speeds on the stretch of 36 from 65 to 60 miles per hour. At the city council meeting tonight, they will propose lowering the speed limit between Baseline Road and Table Mesa Drive to 55 miles per hour. Organizers are considering turning Boulder's Farmer's Market into a year-round event. The Boulder's Farmer's Market opened last Saturday, which could be the last time it will start in the spring. Hundreds of people were there on the sunny but windy day looking for fresh produce, meat, flowers, and other goodies. Growers are looking to extend the selling of their vegetables and flowers to the warmer months of late fall. Some Denver elementary students got a special surprise from the Birdman. Go, go! Helping to kick off Red Ribbon Week for drug awareness. With a reception akin to the Pepsi Center, Chris the Birdman Anderson arrived at Homestead Elementary in Centennial with high fives and a personal message about drugs. The Drug Enforcement Administration says 80 million people participate in Red Ribbon events every year. 